Have you watched Debbie's Design Diaries videos on YouTube? They're inspiring, they're colorful, they're full of joy. Full of joy. And the background music, <clears throat> it used to go, la 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 I am Kristen Calhoun of She Paints. This is a blank canvas. <laughs> I need a blank canvas, it's a canvas, it's blank. It's not funny. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how you can paint faux wood planks like these on canvas. It will look like it is made of actual wood. So easy, you won't believe it. So I'm, I'm gonna show you. That's what's gonna happen. The clay in there will create a texture so that it looks even more like wood. If that were possible, <gasps> my hair's different. It's the next day. And that's really pink. Blank canvas, you want it like a creamy neutral kind of in the background. And what I've done is just traced planks. I actually used a real plank, but you don't have to do that. So I just laid it on there. I'm using vintage linen. You can really see it. Weathered wood. I would prefer to use layered chocolate. I don't have I don't have layered chocolate. You know that saying about the cobbler's children have no shoes? DIY paint retailer and I don't have it. I don't have layered chocolate here. And a little water and a putty knife. You can use a plastic putty knife as well. It's just your preference. Look how thick and delicious that is. I mean, look though. I'm gonna get both of them. I'm gonna just put this right up against my line and just drag it. Oh my gosh, would you look at that? Now you can use one color at a time way you get all the variations of actual weathered wood in there. It's no artistry involved, even though it makes you look like an artist. Keep it almost parallel to the surface. I mean, you have to tip it a little bit, but you can actually go back and forth. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna spray. The other option is to go like this. <gasps> what? Tell me, that does not look like a weathered board. You can't tell me that because it, it does. Now you don't want to blend it too much because then you'll have just one muddy color. Which... I'm liking it. You can do this on a tabletop, which is what I did to mine. Then you can do if you want to make a sign with it, like a farmhouse looking sign. There, boom, now it looks like a barn, only really, really pretty. The shades of this are very cool, kind of cool grays. If you want a warmer wood tones, you can use layered chocolate uh, and faded burlap or crinoline. You gotta walk away at some point. I'm gonna go this way one more time. Shh. Mm-hmm, yes. Can't stop, won't stop. La, 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 la. I look insane. I should try to not look insane. It's hard. Then when you're done playing, let it dry thoroughly. All that's left is to seal it. You can use any kind of water-based coat. I'm using Big Top, um, and I'm using my synthetic paint pixie brush. Uh, I'm doing it vertically so that you can see how easy Big Top is to use because it doesn't drip. Yeah. Let that dry. It looks like wood only so much lighter, easier to hang. Now you can put, um, use a stencil. It looks like wood. Only it's cute. Real wood, DIY paint on canvas. You saw it, you saw it guys. <laughs> So I mixed the color of my bathroom walls up there with um, Apothecary and Skeleton Key of DIY paint and uh, have it right there. And then I have watered down my brush a little bit. So a little water will help it go down to the grooves, the grooves. 
and I'm just smushing it in there in the basket weave. You'll see. And that's going to be that. What's real? What's not? Ah!